a serious strategy watch, to the American watch. people. Mommy's gonna be on so TV. far, it hasn't been working, but pollster Frank Lunds watched the speech, as he always does, with a bipartisan focus group. Now, they used dials to show which messages worked and which fell flat. So did the desperate appeal to the American people change any minds? We go to Washington tonight with Frank and his focus group. Frank. You all just witnessed what could be the most important speech of the Obama presidency. Now, the Americans people want to know what other Americans like them felt. Just because the president said that Assad used the weapons, I'm not convinced he did. A public relations campaign to get the United States involved in Syria. I'm on this. Standard, well-delivered speech. Not a lot of content, not a lot of convincing. I'm proud that we're exploring peaceful diplomatic options before taking those. Mommy's going to be on TV, Christopher. Christopher, I'm the next. The issues and why I'm after this guy. Act. Way too much e reference on the oh, children and, e and calling us e to take a make a decision that's more from an emotional standpoint rather than the facts. Now, I'm going to stop you right there because we were looking at your reactions on the dials. And I want to show the American people just how you reacted when Barack Obama went to emotion Hi. and spoke about the impact Hi. on the children. Take a look. Terrible things happen across the globe. And it is beyond our means to right every wrong. Hi. But when, with modest effort and risk, we can stop children from being gassed to death and thereby make our own children safer over the long run, I believe we should act. But it is emotion. Deciding whether or not to declare an airstrike is emotion. What is wrong with the president using emotion? Because that's not how we should make decisions. We need to make decisions on the facts. We need to look at history, uh, the Mideast as a whole, and where we've gone wrong in the past. Doing this is not going to change anything. And by keep uh, by referencing the children, it really causes an emotional it goes to reaction. Every time. Obama goes to the children in every speech he does trying to use emotion to get something across. I thought that was kind of low. I did, I did not like that at all. At all. It felt like we were being manipulated. Exactly. To do what he wanted. Go watch it. Go watch it again. Watch the gassing. Watch the children. I mean, that sucks. Obviously, we're going to it was react to that. You said it was 100,000 people killed how we in the war. The decision. There had to be children in that. Yes. Which, so why all of a sudden is the children the problem? That's an atrocity. It is an atrocity, but that's not the reason why we need to go and bomb Syria. Now, the reason why I think why I was shaking my head is because um, I was kind of mad at the fact that uh, he had laid out this plan before saying, you know what, if you use chemical weapons, we're going to come in and we're going to get you. And the, well, now we're going to think about it. You know, we're going to try to leave the diplomacy. Yeah. He said I drew, and I didn't like he that. Drew a, he said I didn't draw a red line. And then we watched him say it on a video from a year ago. He said, exactly. draw a red line. But you voted for him, correct? I did. Well, have you opened the floodgates? Decision. You voted for him. I, I voted for him too, but that's still not a reason to manipulate the public in making a decision on a motion. I was listening careful, carefully for what authority he would cite for going in and for making the attack, and he said, "Christopher, did you see Molly?" Yet he's not proposing Daddy? to go in and take us out as a war criminal. He just wants to go in and deliver a message. Even abstracting from the uh, argument about Daddy? children in Syria, how often have we heard the argument that's always about the children? And how much of the, this way the century is written is always about the emotion, not the logical decision, the smart decision. We talked about it earlier this, this tonight, just those of topics. He talked about making diplomacy work by holding the military stick over their head, and then he said, but now I want Congress to, to take a while and delay the vote. So what kind of stick is that? I, think, I feel like there's more behind this that we're not being told the whole truth. What makes these children more special than, say, the children in Sudan? with all the massacres that have gone over there during his presidency, completely ignored. But at some point, but at some point, don't you say enough is enough? Yeah, that's where I stand. I, I did support the strikes originally and for humanitarian reasons, and I guess that's why I'm not so angered by that particular argument. Although I don't think that I was his target audience for that statement about the children as well. And there have been a lot of atrocities other places where I feel like we should have stepped in and we didn't, but I'm happy that perhaps this is an opportunity where we are drawing a bright line. Yeah, I think yeah, 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 the answers yeah, asked some yeah, very good yeah, questions yeah, yeah, speech, but the answers yeah, that he gave himself were equivocal, yeah, yeah, not yeah, believable, yeah, they were all over the map. Yeah, and it's yeah, interesting yeah, that you say that because yeah, I want to show you one more clip. Yeah, In fact, you all dialed the questions very high, but the moment that he gave the answers, you dialed them down. Let's, let's take a look. Many of you have asked, 
Won't this put us on a slippery slope to another war? One man wrote to me that we are still recovering from our involvement in Iraq. A veteran put it more bluntly. This nation is sick and tired of war. My answer is simple. I will not put American boots on the ground in Syria. I will not pursue an open-ended action like Iraq or Afghanistan. I will not pursue a prolonged air campaign like Libya or Kosovo. This would be a targeted strike to achieve a clear objective, deterring the use of chemical weapons and degrading Assad's capabilities. Okay, so what is it? He's got the right questions. He, he doesn't have the right answers? So, no. We, we, we need to focus on uh, no striking. We, I, I feel sad for the children, but we have a lot of things going on in the United States. We need to focus on But doesn't the U.S. have responsibilities that other countries don't have? We have responsibilities that other, that other countries have, but we have our own problems at home. We need to start trying to be the world's police and worry about the pressing issues that we have going on in this country. We need, it's time for us to worry about ourselves. We can't always step back. You guys agree with us? The last time, the last time that happened, I believe that's where the Holocaust occurred because we were too busy focusing on internal and not what was going on externally. So while, yes, the, the thought of being a police does not sound good, I do believe that there needs to be more international we're in a world Coming where together. we're totally in a world where everybody knows. I mean, in the Holocaust, we didn't have CNN, NBC, Fox News. We didn't have any of that. So today, what was stunning with me with that video was suddenly I thought he was going along. Of course, I didn't like the reference to children too much. And then all of a sudden, he did a nosedive on us. He just totally dropped out. So, by the way, we're not doing anything. Well, that's because what the heck? I don't like that. That's because, that one. Well, that's because he lacks leadership. That's why I didn't vote for him. He lacks leadership. Oh, he does not know how to make decisions. He wants to commit an act of war in our name, and, and I just don't understand this. There's no such thing as a limited act. He talks about Syria being a small, insignificant country. Well, they have treaties with other countries. What does he think is going to happen when he commits this act of war? I don't think he really wants to commit that act. Actually, I think he, he's posturing. He's been posturing for more than a year. He doesn't really want to act, and now he's taking an out. Okay, so let me ask when we get out of here. Uh, we got to go. Four weeks from now, will we have done an airstrike in Syria, yes or no? No. 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 How many of you say no? Almost all of you. Wow. Well, we'll have the opportunity to see what happens really over time. Hard. There were clearly some elements with that of the speech that were impressive to our audience, but more areas that seem to have left them disappointed. You spoke, America's heard. And coming up next, right here on Hannity. When I first saw the president speak in 2008 in a YouTube clip posted to my Facebook page, I knew he was going to be right all the time. So I support World War III and IV and any moon war the president may want to start. <laughs> any moon war? Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> liberals are when it comes to supporting their man in the White House. We're going to play. We love Hannity. Mania. He made us say Hannity's God, by the way. Did he really? Yeah, he's like, I will not. He's like. Right, a couple rules, and then he went on to say, I will not swear, I will speak up, I will do these things, and then at the end he said, Hannity is God, and I, I said, loud, Hannity is not God. <laughs> He so he liked look. you from that moment on. Huh? He, he darted me a look. Yeah. Honey, you really, your part was the best because you got everybody going. That was awesome. Congrats, son. Thanks, son. Are you sure? Yeah. Did I sound okay? You're fine, you sounded great. But I looked super fat. Maybe. Actually, you did not. We really wanted to take you a really didn't. trip to Florida. You know, just to unwind. But we can only afford one trip this year. And his high school reunion is coming up. Just like Dr. Africa. Joe, he can only afford to go to Africa this year. <laughs> <laughs> and honey, where did we go? <laughs> Cleveland. <laughs> Thanks a lot, hon. No, I didn't mean it like that. I meant like we need. Honey, I thought, I thought you liked Cleveland. We did. Yeah. That's the moon! Hi, mom. Good night, mom. Honey, you look so skinny. Look at you. Whatever. I'm going to show you this part. Which would be fine if Bob were a vampire. For some reason, you look skinny and Christopher looks high. fat in this angle. He's an architect with two kids and a mortgage. All right, honey, so you give your sign off. Luckily, he found someone who gave him This a is the left Caesar Jacobs. 
and with filling in for Hannity. Effort, hopefully, Bob can retire. Any moment, <laughs> I couldn't even say it. Oh look, so it's not rocket science. It's just common sense. All right, Richard. From TV America. Wait, put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back on me. This is the Love Caesar Jacobs signing off for America. Sign, I'm signing off for America. Don't try negotiating with the IRS alone. The IRS can take advantage of taxpayers who don't know the law or collection procedures. <laughs> on the tax professionals and CPAs with master degrees in Texas.